let us start arranging the artificial teeth and let us have some fun. We here we have the set of selected teeth and we start the arrangement with the upper anteriors. The upper anteriors they have uh, aesthetic uh, importance as they affect the patient appearance. We start the arrangement by replacing the lower cast with the occlusal table. We open the lower the articulator, we remove the lower cast and we put the occlusal table instead of it. Now as we mentioned earlier the occlusal table must be positioned correctly in its position and make sure that the uh, zero line is flushed with the upper surface of the upper member and the uh, tip of the incisal uh, guidance or incisor pin is touching the incisor guidance. Okay, let us start sitting. Now we start with the central incisor. We have the uh, midline indicated here. So we cut, uh, we cut a piece of wax, section of wax larger than the size of the central incisor, we cut piece through and through we remove this piece of wax and we soften the remaining wax here we prefer a soft wax in the area with hot spatula or hot wax knife and we start arranging the upper or maxillary lift central incisor now the mesial surface must touch the midline and the incisal edge must touch the occlusal table completely as you can see here now once we put this tooth in its position we can secure it uh, with wax. Now we have to notice something important. The occlusal view, if you can see here, the labial surface of the incisal third is restoring the contour of the wax. Nothing is added to the contour of the wax as this contour has been uh, customized inside the patient mouth in order to provide the proper lip support. Now we uh, secure the tooth here. We have some wax and melt the wax around it so it will not move. The three views we observe the tooth as we mentioned, we have the labial view. The long axis at the labial view will be slightly to the distal, and this will be automatically achieved once we put the incisal edge completely touching the occlusal table. Okay? And we give some time for the wax around it in order to cool down and become hard so the tooth will not move. So you can notice here the second view after the labial view you have the occlusal or incisal view. You can see that the tooth is not changing the contour of the wax. It's completely inside or within the wax. Now we have the midline here as indicated on the uh, side of the cast. We put the right central incisor the next step in order to 
maintain the midline and we do the same we cut a piece of wax larger than the size of the central and you can see when I cut the wax I do not change or touch the right or the left central uh, I soften the wax in the area and I pick up the uh, right central incisor and put it in the same way in its place I hope you can notice the photographing now we have to we, we see the labial surface is restoring the wax rim again and we make sure that the midline is preserved we notice here that we need to move the midline a little bit here and this is the idea behind sitting the two centrals at the beginning so we secure the uh, right central incisor in its place and wait for the wax to cool down. As we mentioned, we have to observe the teeth in three views. The labial view, in the labial view, the incisal edge, we can notice that the incisal edge of the central incisors are touching the occlusal table. And this give you this gives you the long axis of the tooth slightly to the distal at the neck. You have contact point and you have coincidence of the midline of sitting with the midline of the face. Now in the profile view or lateral view or distal view, we can notice that the uh, neck of the tooth is slightly depressed. And we have labial inclination similar to the labial inclination of the wax rim. Now, occlusal view or incisal view, you can use your finger to verify that the labial surface of the teeth uh, lies within the contour of the wax. Now, we move to continue the sitting of the teeth on the left side. We remove the amount of wax adjacent to the central incisor. Okay. slightly bigger than the lateral we soften the wax in the area so we can insert the lateral now we pick up the left maxillary lateral incisor we have to make sure the contact point is there the neck is depressed more than slightly more than the central incisor and the incisor edge is higher with half to one millimeter than the central incisor now we can use the uh, wax or wax knife or lecon cover to make the space between the incisal edge and the occlusal table. And you can notice that the occlusal table is and the incisal edge are parallel together. Okay, we secure the wax around the lateral incisor and make sure it is within the wax rim contour. So it will provide us with the same lip support achieved by the wax rim. As long as the wax is soft, you can control the position of the tooth. And you can see here, it is a little bit higher than the uh, central. And we repeat again that we have to observe the tooth uh, from the labial view 
you can see that the long axis of the lateral is more inclined distally at the neck the incisal edge is parallel to the occlusal table but not touching at all the occlusal table and we have about half a millimeter uh, space between the incisal edge of the lateral and the occlusal table and occlusally you can see that it is restoring the contour of the wax rim as it came from the clinic as it has been customized in the patient mouth now the profile or lateral view you can notice that the neck of the the neck of the lateral is depressed more than the neck of the central incisor now we proceed for the setting of the canine uh, and you can see you can notice here that uh, here is the canine line which uh, indicating the distal surface of the canine and here we have the high lip line which gave us the height of the teeth and we use those reference, li reference lines for the selection of the teeth now we cut a part of the wax from the wax rim through and through complete thickness we remove complete thickness larger slightly slightly larger than the canine okay we soften the area the wax left in the area so we can uh, fix the canine now we, we, we take the canine the maxillary lift canine and we put it in the same direction of the wax rim you can notice that it is put in the same curvature now we make the neck prominent and we have the uh, tip of the canine touching the incisal edge the long axis is slightly to the distal we maintain the contact point with the lateral it's important and we have to observe with every tooth we put that the incisal pin the incisal guidance pin at the zero line here and touching the incisal guidance table never forget this uh, reference uh, criteria now we uh, soften the wax around the canine in order to loot the canine to the uh, wax again we bring some soft wax and put it around the latter the canine and we leave it for few seconds to cool down now when we look uh, at the canine from the labial view we see uh, the mesolabial half of the canine the labial surface of the canine as you remember from the uh, dental anatomy course has two planes with the line angle at the mid of the labial surface we have the mesolabial half and we have the distolabial half when we look at the canine from the front view we we see most all of the mesolabial half of the canine and we don't see the distolabial surface of the canine or the distolabial half and you can see that it is restoring the area or the uh, contour of the uh, waxing and we proceed to the to complete the left side of the or the right side sorry now we'll, we start with the lateral uh, on the right side the maxillary lateral we also remove piece of wax slightly larger than the lateral and we soften the wax in the area in the lateral bed where we planning to put the lateral we take the lateral and we put it in the proper position contact point slightly higher and all what we need is to uh, uh, fix the lateral in its place 
and we make sure that it is uh, replacing the contour of the wax make sure that you are still in the zero line and nothing is uh, added to the vertical dimension now we put more wax around it and wait a few seconds until the wax you have to focus on the symmetry we have the central central lateral lateral okay now we proceed from the sitting of the upper right canine we remove a piece of wax slightly larger than the canine size mesodistally and complete removal of wax buccolingually then we bring the canine you can clean it from the wax of the display wax and put the canine so it the neck is mesodistally the neck is slightly inclined to be distal and uh, mesio or buccolingually it, it is vertical you have to observe the uh, canine on the left side so we can achieve a sort of uh, uh, symmetry between the two uh, teeth As we mentioned, we have to put it in a position to restore the contour of the wax rim. Uh, the tip touching the incisal table, the incisal pin is uh, fixed in its position. Now we can fix the canine in its position with uh, softened wax. around the uh, now we have also if important factor is the symmetry of the artificial teeth sometimes you might have a difference between the right and left slight difference we do appreciate that Now we open the articulator and we see that the curve of the anterior six anterior teeth restored the, the uh, contour of the wax rim. And you can notice here the distal surface of the canine on the right side and the distal surface of the canine on the left side. We have the same extension and we have uh, symmetry in the arch. And if we look from the labial surface, you can see the labial surface of the uh, six anterior teeth uh, they need to be cleaned from all the wax residues uh, and you can notice that the canines you can see only the mesolabial surface uh, of the canines as they will start the uh, distal uh, sitting or the sitting of the uh, posterior teeth as we are going to see in the coming video you can notice here if you raise the uh, incisor pin you have to examine the labial looking of the teeth and try to achieve symmetry as much as possible next video will be the sitting of the upper posterior teeth the sitting of the upper posterior teeth uh, so see you in the next video meanwhile meanwhile have a good time